You guys, this is gonna be the ultimate Christmassy get ready with me. When you think of Christmas glam, what do you think of? I think a red sparkly outfit, you know, sparkly eyes, maybe even a red lip. I haven't decided on the lip just yet. You guys can help me decide and see what's better. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So this is gonna be the first video that's going up. If you watched my video before this, my little car chats video, I said that all of next week I'm doing loads of fun, sociable, Christmassy things which are gonna enable me to like get glam and give you guys loads of inspo and I'm gonna vlog the week but I'm gonna pick one of those nights to actually film a full get ready with me. So I picked today so next week you'll sort of see what I got up to this week and any of the looks you may have seen me post on my Instagram you'll find out all the details and like just come along with me to those events. But tonight we're going to London and we do this every year. I go with Sarah, Cece, Annie, and it would be our friend Anthony, but he's not coming. But we all go out in Sarah's SLA Christmas collection. If you guys don't know, Sarah Ashcroft owns the brand. SLA the label just does, especially like this time of year, all the viral Christmas outfits that you could ever want. And I'm fortunate enough to be wearing the red sparkly blazer dress tonight, which I'm sure you'll have seen in the thumbnail or maybe on my Instagram already. I don't even know by the time this goes up. And yeah, I wanna just do a makeup look that does this outfit justice. I am so excited. I don't know whether to do a red lip because will that just steal away from the red dress? Like the red dress really is the moment. I won't decide until the end. So we're gonna do an eye look that is just gonna go with any lip combo and just be such a perfect eye look for this time of year as well. I've literally just moisturized my skin with L'Oreal Revitalift Moisturizer. I've really fallen back in love with this because it's water-based. It is just so hydrating and comfortable on the skin. I did go out last night. That's my friend's netball awards. So I am really tired, I can't lie. That's a triple shot coffee right there. We're gonna tape it up today. I can't afford to have any mistakes. And because I'm wearing with the dress, black tights and black heels, we're gonna do a black wing liner, which is very not, not me. Sorry, this is the problem with tape. You gotta get it to be even. And I never. I feel like that was right, but a little bit too close to my eye. There we go. Why well, just put that back in the same place? Whatever, we're going with it. I've forgotten what I was saying as well. So that's good. But I was really tired, went out last night really tired. I think that's what it is. Anyway, you guys will see it all in the vlog going up next week for Christmas. But it was quite hard to decide what get ready with me to film because I've absolutely loved like all of my Christmassy looks that I've done so far. God, I just, my hands are all slippy from that moisturizer. I need to, oh, can't open it. Let me use this, the milk brow lamination. I'm just, I was, I just forgot to gel my brows. That was like always the first thing that I do. But yeah, triple shot coffee right here. So if I progressively get super jittery, that's why. Let's do this. This is really good, you know. I only got it the other day. Just to like, yeah. Jammy brows in place. Love a bit of milk makeup. Um, Normally I would have like my hair done first, but these are like yesterday's curls that I'm just gonna make use of. And then I'm actually only gonna curl my front bits. So I thought, I don't want them to drop out by the time this finishes. So I will just do my hair like at the end. But I'm just using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Creme Brulee to ugh, carve and prep my eyes like so. And I'm gonna set that in place with just some Oh 
my god, that's so annoying. How did that happen? Ugh. Oh god, it's broken, it's smudged, it's everything. Anyways, setting that in place with my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder in the shade 2. Not a massive fan of like a really bright eye base. So this just helps to neutralize it a little bit and just really give me the best base to work with. So like I said, we are gonna do an eye that I just think would go with any makeup look, so classic and just a really beautiful eyeshadow look. And we're gonna use the Patrick Tar palette for, I'm gonna actually start with my bronzer, which is MAC Medium Tan. I got this because, you know that MAC eyeshadow that I'm obsessed with, the one that like, I have none left of it and it, I always bang on about it being the breast, the best, the breast, the best crease shade because, but it's limited edition. So this bronzer just looked really close to it and I always love to use my bronzer as an eyeshadow because it just subconsciously ties in like when it's also on your face. So let's just buff this and this can be our initial transition color. It is such a gorgeous soft brown crease color. And we don't wanna to go too heavy with the crease colors cause we're gonna do a black eyeliner and we are gonna smoke it out a little bit as well. Take it down my nose a little bit. And then we are gonna go into now the Major Dimensions eyeshadow palette. And I think we're gonna take this color right here very softly in the crease, like very. But I do wanna go like all the way across cause we are gonna sort of cut the crease, but like very softly and not with concealer, just with eyeshadow. But I do want there to be like something being cut, you know? So we do want there to be like a bit of a crease going on. But honestly, that is it in terms of crease colors, very soft. Just going back in with that brush from before to make sure that that's all diffused in. Let's do this eye very softly. Inner to outer. Boom. Just like that. And then this is my absolute favorite thing to put on the lid. It is this cream shade here, but it's got a little bit of sparkle to it. We are gonna add a little bit more sparkle, but I just love the subtleness of the sparkle that's already in that eyeshadow. And we're gonna use this to like, sort of cut the crease, but it's gonna be really soft. See, like that, and then we can go back in to just diffuse that a little. We just want this to all be very soft and seamless, that's the vibe. I think that's just like the classiest way to like keep your eyeshadow if there's the potential for like a statement lip, but you just want everything to be really pretty and soft. Hey baby, are you coming in? See if he comes in. I did see a TikTok that was like, hello. Boy? I saw a TikTok that was like every girl like or something like has their boy cat that watches them get ready and he does always come in and watch me get ready. Hi boy. I'll run away. Fine. But anyway, think that's in terms of like powder shadows right now. All we're gonna do, and I am just gonna give my eyeliner, even though I know we're gonna do black, just gonna give it a little bit of a smoky base. And to do that, 
taking a really small fluffy brush I'm just going to take the dark brown from the same Patrick Tar palette and this is why the tape is so good just to like really you can be well it just allows you to be messy and you know it's going to be like a super clean cut I mean, to that, you could leave it like that if you don't want to do the black. The black for me is just going to tie in with um, my outfit, with like my black tights and black shoes. You could totally leave it just a smoky dark brown. Or maybe we just do black eyeshadow. No, I feel like I wanted to do black liner. And then just a little small brush to take it across here. Okay, let's move on to the black. Um, it is Brush Black Liquid Eyeliner from MAC. I promise this isn't sponsored by MAC. I literally am not doing or like haven't really done over this like Christmas period like any sponsored videos because there was just so many amazing clothing brands clothing options, makeup that I just wanted to be able to show you guys and use. I was like, I don't want any of my Christmas content to be sponsored because I want to show you guys literally like everything. But we're just going to do a little, a little wing. Sorry if I'm not in the camera. Yay! Just like that. Let me try and do this other eye. Lovely stuff. I might go over it a little bit more with the brown shadow just to like smoky because I seem to have like lost it lost the smokiness there we go because sometimes like when I wear black I don't want it to like look too too black also you guys my sister said this to me once I swear it was her and it's like called something when you repeat um, like adverbs, is it an adverb? Like I always say like when something's like so, so good or like too, too black, like that's a thing and it's called something, but I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but if anyone else does it, let me know so I don't feel alone. And if I've got the name of whatever it's called right, tell me what it is, cause I need to know. But let me just re like go in with that lid color. Just making sure it's all gorgeous, like so. Just little touch-ups of everything because finally, what we're gonna do, and this is the star of the show, I saw Hannah use this in a video on TikTok and she used it and I was like, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Went on like Beauty Bay, found it. And I was like, wait, I swear I have that. Dug into my collection and lo and behold, I did and it still had like the, the plastic on it where I'd not used it and she just introduced it to me because it's so gorgeous. It's this pigment from We Love, no, With Love Cosmetics called Hazelnut. So what I'm gonna do is spray my eyes, or like it's obviously gonna go on my face, but my eyes with Fix Plus, take a big fluffy brush and just dab it on to give a beautiful sparkle that is gonna tie in perfectly with my dress. But it's a little bit of like a warmer toned sparkle. You could definitely wear a silver sparkle with that dress or a gold sparkle. But some other options are, um, because I'm not 100% sure if that pigment is in stock. Made by Mitchell Drip Drip, you cannot go wrong. I use that in a get ready, like a, like a mini part of a get ready with me in the vlog that's going up next week. Or the Urban Decay Moon Dust, again, can't go wrong. And I'm sure that will be in stock somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this pigment. Let's do this eye first. Whoa. Okay. Fluffy brush. Tap off the excess. Oh, 
I don't know if you can see that, but it's perfect. Just the most subtle sparkle. Ooh! I might actually go in with a bit of, um, hang on. Okay, done the sparkle, but I'm thinking I might actually go in with this gold eyeshadow from MAC. It is Gold Crush, part of their Christmas collection. It is meant to be just like an eyeshadow topper as well. Maybe even with my finger, you know? Just to add a little bit of a gold reflex, because my jewellery I'm wearing is gold, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just given what it needed to give. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just going to... Just make sure that the liner is how I want it to be. Gorgy time for the most satisfying part. <gasps> oh, the tape is off. We are going to curl our lashes and apply falsies. You guys know the drill. Um, and I will be back to show you the finished eyes. Okay eyes done they're looking gorge my favorite part now the skin right i've got actually a new primer oh, stop it i've been really enjoying because we are actually going to be wearing the foundation to go with it Giorgio armani luminous silk primer it literally just goes on so smoothly guys i've got like lingo on in the background don't sue me it helps me actually keep on track because lingo starts at 3 p.m so when i know when tipping point comes back on it's not deal or no deal anymore i know it's 4 p.m and my train is at like 5 p.m so it just helps me keep on track Anyway, like I said, we are going to use... That was nearly my face. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 6. And I am going to mix a little bit of my MAC Strobe Tint in medium... I think we're going to add a little bit of medium 4. It's a little bit more warmer, a little bit more tanned. Um, and it's just going to help because this is like a really quite like a neutral tone. But I, I love this shade. But just a little bit of warmth. In like this just mix that all in and kind of keep it and apply it with my doll brush we are going to go in with a sponge just to make sure it's all looking as natural as pos especially if you're wearing a red lip i feel like you don't want to go like too heavy on the skin you want to keep the red lip kind of the focus i'm still not 100 percent sold on it and it's all going to depend i think when i put the outfit on. Go around here. Those MAC strobe tints are actually just so nice on their own. I have them in like a couple of shades and they are just like perfect to mix into foundations that you like that you maybe just want a bit more of like a glow to them or I don't know just adjust the undertone of them slightly like I did. And Take my sponge. Beautiful. Now, this is a trick that I saw on TikTok and I absolutely love the way that it looks. I tried it out last night. Taking your cream contour foundation bronzer, I am using chocolate mousse from Huda. On a fan brush, this is from MAC. God, everything. <laughs> Everything's MAC. Just using this to do it. Like, apply it. Automatically blends into the skin. And just keeps it in the, like, correct place. So the placement just looks the most natural. 
and I'm not joking, done in like two seconds. This is the 143S brush from MAC. It obviously looks like it was a holiday edition version, but obsessed with the way that that applies and looks and now we can go in with concealer and our cream blush and for concealer i really just have not put this down ever since i got it it is my hourglass concealer in the shade beach just the coverage and the formula and the color i just love it just love it meek Whoa. Let's tidy. Because I went out last night, I keep thinking it's like a Saturday today. It's Thursday. It's literally a Thursday. It's a working day. I need to get it together, but I love going to London on a Thursday. It is, but it says it's like the new Friday. I don't know why. I think maybe like some people start late on a Friday or whatever. So it's just another excuse to go out. And then especially this time of year, just love it. But I like to take that concealer like all down here as well. Like I said, this is the color Beach. It's pretty close to my skin tone. So that is all blended and for cream blusher, we're gonna take Refi Rose, which I never see really anyone talk about and it's actually gorgeous. I do wanna go for the bluey tone pink vibes because I don't know, we're wearing red and I just feel like it's the most complimentary. And just keeping the placement of that quite high. Like, it's so pretty. Love this. I love this brush. It's from Glam by Marja. Obsessed. Right, I'm now going to go ahead and set everything with powder and do my brows, which is great timing because my battery is running low. So I give my camera a quick boost of battery. But for my brows, I'm literally just going to use the Benefit Precise My Brow Pencil in 3.75 and Laura Mercier translucent powder to just set everything in place. I don't have time to wait for that to charge super quick, but brows and face are set in place. We're gonna go ahead and contour. I have fallen back in love with my Benefit Hula. It's just such a good contour color because I actually just use this and shimmery bronzer these days. So a cream bronzer, powder contour, and then my shimmery bronzer. Can't forget to do my nose as well. It's because I'm trying to save, savor that um, color that I love from the Made by Mitchell bronzer book. I've like nearly hit pan. And I'm sure that that book is out of stock. So don't want to do that too soon. Connect this up into my eyeshadow. Shimmery bronzers, you guys know the drill. I mix Gold Deposit and Global Glow together. Big fluffy brush. Swirl it around in both of them. Crucial step in any makeup routine, but especially for this time of year when you just want to look warm and glowy. Get this down on my chest. Oh. It's stunning. I'm just going to use my little piddly NARS eyeshadow that's got like nothing in it to just highlight my nose. And then I recently picked up 
the newer blush book from Made by Mitchell with these colours in it. Because <gasps> I want the top ones for blush today. Top left. Um, it's called Lost Lover. Gorgeous blue tone pink. Like, it's actually stunning. Beautiful. So cute, and then we are going to go in with, to complement that, I love this product so much, I can't believe I was, I like forgot I even had it, it is the Fenty Beauty What A Brat Highlighter, it's this gorgeous pink, but it's like so sparkly and pretty, just to like, I don't know if you guys can see that like too, too well, but it's just gorgeous. Like, I just always want to be sparkling, glowing. And it just really, like, ties in with the blush. But then I'm also, I splurged the other day and treated myself to a new highlighter. And if I can find a little brush. I got this one from Tom Ford. Bougie, I know. It's like this gorgeous gold, but it's quite subtle. So I actually take quite like a big brush and just run that kind of over the top. And it kind of just, I don't know what it does. It just makes it a little less intense. I don't even know if that did anything, but I don't know. I just love to do that. So now I think I'm just gonna finish off the eyes and just put a little bit of bronzer underneath my eyes. And then I really can't decide about the lip. So we'll get changed. And make a decision. Not sure if I've actually maybe like gone a bit too heavy on the eyes to do a red, but I want this to be such a like festive Christmas to get ready with me. It's like the ultimate one, so maybe I will do red. Anyway, Ob's gotta just lock it in place with the wee Cherie. There's something in my eye. I just have to douse myself in this. Shimmy, shimmy, yay. Right, let's put this outfit on and like finish up my hair. I think I'm just gonna do like half up, half down, like loose curls. You guys know I curl my hair with my Mark Hill curler. Um, actually in the vlog next week, you will see um, me do like this hair that I did yesterday. I'm just basically recreating that. So. It's just curling my hair and putting it back. Like you'll see, it's nothing drastic or crazy. Um, I just think maybe for this outfit, it's gonna look super pretty. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me just get dressed right now and then we can decide on the lip while we've still got enough time if I wanna change my mind. Let me just get my bag. Okay, it needs to be tilted down a little bit so you can get the vibe. That might have been too far down. This is what we are going for. So does it need a red lip or is that too far? I'm gonna be like, I could just get this over my bag. Sorry, can we just talk about this? The red sparkles for one. Um, I think the red, sadly, is like sold out, but she has a silver one, which I feel like by the time this goes up anyway, so much better for like New Year's Eve. I have tailored it slightly, I've cut like an inch off, and I've added a little hook here um, to make it fit like this. Can't tell if a red lip would just be too far off. Actually, is the red bag too much? Like if we just did a red lip in a black bag. 
I'm thinking red lip and a black bag. Or is that? Guys, I actually can't decide at all. No, it's got to be a red lip and I think a black bag. So let's do that. You guys, this is the vibe. This is it. I don't know why I even contemplated doing a red lip. It was obviously the red lip. Red lip and the black bag. I won't go too far back because otherwise you won't be able to see me. I am obsessed with this. I saw this before it was even released. I've got a group chat with Sarah where she like shows us all of the stuff that's coming. And she said that like, Rachel were doing the Billy Blazer dress like in red. And I can't wait for her to see me in it because she literally said that this was made for me. And it really is. It's so me. I feel like this color might be out of stock but by the time that this goes up, Christmas is kind of like done, the Christmas parties are done, but New Year's is coming. And they have this dress still in silver and I feel like that's so much more the New Year vibe anyway. So you can just totally take inspo from this. I'm obsessed and I feel like this makeup, you can even do this with a silver dress. I don't know, but anyway, I hope you guys loved it. I am off out from the Christmas festivities, which we will see in the vlog going up next week. So don't worry about that. But yeah, love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.